Hello friends, I apologize in advance if the sound in this video, or like the voiceovers, sound a little bit weird. I am doing them from the car. This has been a crazy week and I want to get a video out so this is pretty much my only window of time to get this done. So hopefully it'll sound okay but if it's a little off that's why. But welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here. Today's video is a little bit more concentrated, like I'm really focusing on the boys' room and I'm going to be going room by room and area by area in the room. So I do most everything in the boys' room, including some laundry on top of that, but there's still areas in the room that I need to get to. But I feel like it's a really satisfying video. I hope you guys get tons of motivation from it and let me know what you're up to today in the comments. You tried when you were around I've been told too many times now Yeah, loving me was all you tried when you were around I wanted to take a second to introduce myself if you do happen to be newer to my channel, but I know it's very obvious my name is Joanna and I have pretty much like a cleaning and organizing channel here on YouTube when I started. I was a little bit all over the place. I would post like vlogs and stuff like that, but for the most part it's just cleaning and organizing, sometimes putting furniture together or decorating, but I started my channel a little over four years ago because I just loved watching cleaning videos on YouTube and I loved cleaning myself so I thought it would be a fun thing to do and I didn't really know where it would lead me and here we are over four years later and it is now my full-time job which is wonderful. I am married to Mark and we celebrate 15 years of marriage at the end of this year so together we have four kids. Ava is about to be 12, Kate is 10, Max is 8, and Bo's about to be 7. So I'm so happy that you're here. And those of you who have been here for a while, you guys know that I love doing YouTube and I love posting, but I also don't make it my number one priority because there's all kinds of craziness going on in front of me at all times with four kids and all this stuff they're involved in and my friends and my family. So those of you who have stuck with me, y'all are constantly showing me grace because sometimes my schedule is a little all over the place, but I appreciate every single one of you for being here today, for watching my videos, and I hope that you will come back. But I am in the boys' closet, so I went ahead and did this off camera. I got all of the clothes down from Max's side that don't fit him anymore, like the six sevens pretty much, and took them off the hangers because Max's stuff is always on black hangers. And I put them in a pile because I need to move them over to Bo's side and he has white hangers. And then I also got stuff down from Bo's side, so I'm bagging that up to give away. And then I want to get Bo's clothes hung up because everything that doesn't fit Max anymore is now being passed on to Bo. I do kind of feel like I'm in a constant state of shifting stuff around just because my boys are constantly outgrowing their clothes and really so are the girls and I do the same thing with them. I pass on to Kate all the stuff that doesn't fit Ava anymore and it's really nice and convenient to have two girls and two boys and have them be like right next to each other in age so I can just easily pass the stuff on but I do find myself 
doing this fairly often and as I was sitting here doing this I was looking around because this is like their closet and a little extra playroom for them and there are so many toys and so many things in here and this isn't even like half of it there's a bunch of stuff in the playroom too that they really hardly ever play with and they really don't even go in the playroom they just kind of play in this room and their room and then downstairs so I was like I am in the mood to get rid of stuff I just want to simplify things we don't need so much clutter we don't need to add to the chaos that is already in our house and so I've just like every day gone through like random areas and just grab stuff I'm like we don't need this we don't need this and I'm trying not to be too extreme because I don't want to get rid of stuff that I'm just gonna end up needing a few days later but as far as like toys or stuff that's missing pieces or really toys from like years ago that they don't even know they have anymore and they definitely don't play with it I have been slowly trying to get rid of stuff I do talk through most of it with them but if it's something they don't play with I don't mind at all just getting rid of it and it's not just toys there's so much stuff we need to go through in the garage like their outdoor things that they play with so I am in the process I'm like early spring cleaning and I can't wait to just go through everything put my hand on everything and know that it's staying in our house or it's leaving and I think eventually I'm going to rent a dumpster again because we do have quite a bit of like bigger trash and I think it'll make me feel so good to just get rid of those things. Like a mirror you reflect me I just don't want this I just don't want this moment to win My kids had winter break last week and I do think it's kind of funny that it's called winter break because it was pretty warm here and the weather was really nice actually. We spent so many of the days outside. We didn't travel anywhere but we went to a bunch of different places locally and the kids, I, honestly I feel like it was one of the best weeks we've had in a long time. Like Mark was even able to spend a little bit of time with us but for the most part we just spent it with friends and adventuring and doing all kinds of stuff and the kids definitely did not want to go back to school when it came time to go on Monday morning but they are getting back into the swing of things and it's been just fine. We are going to go somewhere. We have like a March break coming up for a couple days so we're going to go somewhere that weekend. The kids are very pumped about it but sometimes it's fun just to stay local and do stuff around here that you wouldn't otherwise do and it was crazy to think that last winter break in February that is the week that we went down to our condo and did all of like so much of the painting and the decorating and buying stuff for it because we were about to start renting it out things have been going really well there and we actually have long-term renters right now who are about to leave in March they've been great at least we think they have I mean we haven't been in there but it's crazy how fast a year can fly by. It's time to call it quits. The kitchen tap is broken. Drip, 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 drip. Dirty dishes in the sink. We've been laying here for weeks, weeks, weeks. We're not talking anymore. It's like we're scared of trying. So different from when we started off. These IKEA organizers had been on my list of things I wanted to get for the boys for a very long time. And when I was at IKEA with a couple of my best friends a few weeks ago, I ended up getting two of them. And I was very relieved that they were so easy to put together, although I still did make a mistake because I'm very quick to just start in on putting it together and not really reading the instructions. Like when Mark and I do stuff together, I feel like he's really good about making sure that we do it correctly. And I'm just like, man, well, I'll wing it and see what happens. And I always end up having to go back a couple steps and fix it. But anyways, if you read the directions, it's very, very easy to put these together, which is good because I had two of them. But I love the way that it turns out. I feel like they are the perfect size for this space. And I think it's going to work out really well for the boys. Loving you was such a bliss.
and this is pretty much the exact moment that I realized I had used the wrong size pegs. I had used the short ones for the bottom and the longer ones for up here. So it wasn't fitting right. So I had to flip this board around and then I had to change out the pegs. So I just went back a few steps and fixed it all. Thankfully, I did the other one pretty much right after this. So I remembered what not to do. Don't think I'm ready for you. Don't think you're ready for me either. I know you've been with her too long. It's okay, I'm just saying. What if she told you? Even though it is much later in the evening, I still feel like I put this one together in like one eighth the amount of time. After I got done with the first one, I decided to take the kids skating. It was, I think it was a Wednesday and it was like half off skating day or something like that. And only a couple of my kids are pretty good skaters. The others don't have a ton of experience. So I thought it would be fun to go. Bo and Max did not really love it, but they have laser tag and a playground too, so that is what they did most of the time, and the girls were skating. So we are back at it though, and I really wanted to finish this up. I don't know why I get it in my head where I'm like, I want to put this together before the boys go to bed or like get both of them done. I just have it in the back of my mind and I can't let that go until I just get it done, even if it's super late. Like I know this was break week, but I let my kids stay up probably a little bit too late. I think like after 11 every single night, but it was worth it because we got a ton done and had a lot of fun. Yeah. I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down, I don't wanna slow down till I burn out. I just wanna live fast, I don't wanna look back and say I could have done more than I did not. Sometimes it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard, yeah, it can be hard when you grow up. People fill you with doubt, you start thinking about what you're gonna do now. But we only go one chance and go one life to live. 
in Ikea they have all different sizes of these bins and you can kind of just customize it to whatever you want it to be. So I decided to do at least one section with the two smaller bins and then I just did the same for each one and I was going back and forth like I almost got all clearish white bins but my friends were like no you're gonna want some color so I ended up doing two colors one's like an orangey red and then the other one is like a greenish blue okay it's been a couple days since I've been in here and the kids have been playing in here so I need to do some more organizing but instead of organizing it in here I'm actually gonna take everything out of this closet area and y'all saw me set those up the other day and I'm gonna take this out. Months ago, I spray painted this. It was a train track table, but we actually got a different table at Ikea that we're gonna use that the boys can actually sit at instead of being on the floor. So this is gonna be given away. And those pictures over there, I'm probably gonna give those away too. But then the rest of the toys, I'm just taking out of here. I'm gonna vacuum, get the boys table put together, and then slowly start bringing some toys back in here whatever can fit in these bins. And I don't think I'm gonna keep them both over here, but for now, they are both over here. So I'm gonna start emptying things out and get the room cleaned up, and then we'll slowly start to see how everything comes together. We went a separate time to Ikea as a family and the boys pretty much picked out what they wanted for a Lego table. They have such good deals there on stuff. Like when you're just wanting something plain, I knew I didn't want anything crazy. They do have tables there for hundreds of dollars, but this one, I'm pretty sure the black table that I put together in a little bit was only $50. And then these two white chairs were 25 each and the little black stools, which who knows how long they'll last, but those were $8 each. And so I decided not to get four chairs because it's really only the boys working on their Lego table. But if they had friends over, they could sit in these chairs pretty easily and at least have somewhere to sit and then just kind of pull them out when they need them. But all of this was very easy to put together, except for, of course, I just messed up on a screw like I always do, but it was still a very quick process.
Okie dokie, I did finish the table. I put it all together. It was very easy. The chairs are done, even though I messed up one screw and couldn't get it unscrewed, but then it's all fixed. Mark helped me. And I have these. These are not like sticky on the back, so I'm gonna have to glue them. But these little ones right here have the little sticker that helps them stick to the table. And I will just have to kind of space everything I have here out on the table and see how it fits. And I'm just gonna use what I have. Like I could order more, but these things are weirdly expensive. So I'm not gonna order more of that. I brought some wood glue up, probably not the best choice, but it's all I have. And then I have some Mod Podge too. So I'm gonna try to put this together before the boys get home from school. I was a little bit nervous for these sticky ones and rightfully so because if you've ever worked with them before you know once you put them down there is no turning back they do not come back up in fact I even tried to adjust this third one and it was not happening so I just had to leave it the way it was you can't really expect perfection and honestly the boys would never know the difference and would never care they're just happy that they have a Lego table now so if you're working with these just know that it is a little bit tricky as far as like there's no forgiveness for mess ups but I tried to space everything out the way it was supposed to be and it ended up being perfectly fine of course the ones I glued down are just a little bit easier to work with but I love the convenience of the sticker where you don't have to use any glue I have noticed lately, especially like an influx of people asking like, where am I or what's going on or like what my schedule is or, you know, people get frustrated because they don't exactly know what my schedule is, which I get it. You're not going to see everything that I post or hear everything that I talk about, but I will say it would help a ton to follow me over on Instagram because I do typically share like, hey, I'm going to post on this day, which is typically either a Wednesday or Thursday. Lately, it's been Thursdays, but I do want to work my way back to Wednesdays. But for now, it's Thursdays and that's fine. But I know the ones who have questions are probably the ones who don't follow me over there because I keep you all up to date on my life and what's going on and where I am. So if you have those types of questions, I would love for you to follow me over there. Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time being so serious idiots thinking it will matter keep me company downtown before the clock runs out sun is shining but the rain is welcome to friends are nearby don't need another view time is not on my mind but then it's you oh
All things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up I did decide just to put some lighter weights down where I had glued, especially the bigger pieces because I didn't want them to warp or bow up or anything. So these weights worked perfectly. I took them off later that night. Now I'm going through all the Legos, which, you know, I had mentioned earlier, like I want to touch everything. I want to see if it's something we want to keep or something we don't want to keep. And recently we have gone through and gotten rid of a lot of the girls Legos. Like they have their newer sets, but the older ones, we just don't use a ton anymore or the girls don't. So they gave a bunch of them to their cousins and now I'm just going through the boys Legos because mixed in with these were like Lincoln logs and random stuff that went with their little marble run that we don't even have anymore and the bigger Legos that they don't really play with much anymore. So I'm trying to go through everything and pull out the little balls and stuff like that and make sure that it's just Legos going into these bins, which was a very tedious process. I cut a bunch out and of course I sped it up a ton, but it was definitely worth it. Steady cause I'm happy I'm not going away No, no, not yet Whoa, no, not yet Whoa, no, no, not yet Whoa But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady cause I'm happy I'm not I'm not gonna wake up Once I got this big bin of Legos in their closet, I realized it probably wouldn't be the best for them to have to pull this out every time they want to play with Legos. So I moved some of them into smaller bins and then moved like this big thing. I dump it into the other bin just so it's a little bit easier for them to handle. And that's going to kind of be how it is for everything. Like it's just a trial and error to see how things work best for them. I know that they play with like cars a lot and balls and their Nerf guns. So I want that type of stuff accessible to them, but I'm sure we will move stuff around as we go. Now that we are back to school, we are in the middle of kindness week and at least if we're going to have a themed week, I am thankful when they make it pretty easy. Like this week, some of the stuff has been wear your den color, which they all have certain colors like red or purple or yellow. And so that's really easy to do. And then tomorrow's PJ day. So that's always a good one. And today was like Hawaiian theme day. So they all have stuff with flowers on it. So it's been pretty easy. And I feel like it does make going back to school a little bit more fun because it's something to look forward to. And with the Nerf guns, I keep their collection of Nerf guns underneath their bed. And I want to do like a cork board, not a cork board, a pegboard in this room and hang all of their Nerf guns because they honestly play with these so much, especially when friends come over. They shoot like all the little targets and stuff. So I want to have them more accessible and not just in a little Ikea bin under their bed.
It's probably pretty obvious, but this is well into the evening. My boys are not really ones to spend time in the morning making their beds, and that is perfectly fine with me. Maybe later in life, I'll care, like, okay, get up and make your bed, but for now, I just, it doesn't bother me at all, and it's easy to do anyway, like, just zip it up, but I don't come in here and do it. They don't do it but they just hop in it at the end of the night. I did want to vacuum in here though, so I just kind of straightened up their beds, put their blankets on, and they really only use their pillows to sleep with. So I pulled all the other pillows and put them off to the side after I vacuumed. That bin right there in the corner is their collection of stuffed animals and then I guess a Minecraft sword on top of that. But they love stuffed animals so they have gone through them recently and gotten rid of the ones that they don't really use. So we're holding on to those and then I still need to go through their black lockers that are to the sides of their dresser. But other than that, in their room, I'm pretty sure that everything is done. There's nothing in their nightstand drawers except for, I think, a flashlight and a Bible. And then we have several bins, I wanna say like three or four, that I moved into the playroom of all of their toys and miscellaneous stuff. So over the next little bit, we will be going through those and getting rid of more stuff and then putting stuff where we want it to go and where they know it's going to go so they can help me clean up every time and they know that everything has its own place which makes me so happy by the way if you did see a little it wasn't a bouncy ball but some type of like nerf ball thing underneath the bed on the right on max's bed it got picked up don't worry i got it i didn't see it when i was vacuuming but i did see it afterwards but here's kind of how everything's looking so far i might move the shelving around or maybe move this table to the other side i'm not totally sure like this might not be the placement forever but at least it's organized and clean and everything has a place and it makes me very happy the boys were so happy and they've already been playing with their lego table a ton but Thank you guys so much for watching today. I cannot wait to share next week's video with y'all and I hope y'all have a wonderful day. See y'all next time.